is it getting more and more annoying that your iPhone has slowed down lately? Hey, I'm Dom from Wondershare and it's small and in this video I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on speeding up your iPhone or iPad. Let's get started. The three main reasons iPads and iPhones slow down over time are the followings. Hard drive RAM maxed out. Too many applications running in the background iOS version needs to be updated. These problems are very much likely to appear if you use your device on a daily basis, and if it's an iPhone, you probably use it on a daily basis, but you don't take proper care of it. Fortunately, there are multiple ways to speed up your iPhone or iPad, so let's dive right into it. Number five, close unused apps. Opening up apps one after the other and then not closing them is a common thing people do, including me. You want to see how many applications I have open right now? And that's not even everything I usually have open. So it's very simple, just close them. Number four, the iOS on your iPhone or iPad might need updating or upgrading. An outdated version can slow down things as it's not in sync with the latest app versions. Number three, turn off background application services and background location services or only allow them while using the app. To turn off background app refresh, go to the settings, go to general, go to background app refresh, and then up here, select off. To turn off location services, go to the settings again, go to privacy and security, and up here, tap on location services and just turn it off. Number two, configure motion settings. You can reduce the amount of motion you see in your user interface. To do this, go to settings, go to accessibility, go to the motion settings, and here select reduce motion. Another way to reduce the motion sensor activity in your device is by turning off fitness tracking. Go to settings, go to privacy and security, go to motion and fitness, and here turn off fitness tracking. You wouldn't even think about it, but tracking your health, your motion, and counting your steps comes with a lot of computing power. Number one, free up some storage space on your iPhone or iPad. Probably the most space is taken up by photos and videos. You don't have to delete them though. You can make the video files smaller by compressing them. Any small for iPhones or iPads is a quick remedy to this issue and you don't even have to worry about quality loss. So without any further ado, let's see how AnySmall, the newest member of the Wondershare family, works. First of all, download the application from the App Store. Just open up the App Store, search for AnySmall and tap on Download. Once it's downloaded, open up AnySmall. Tap on the video compressor and select your files from your media library. You might previously have to add files to your media library, but you can do that by allowing AnySmall to access your photos. Once your media file is chosen, select an output format, which can be MP4, MOV, M4V, and MPG. Select the compression mode to be standard, and then the compression percentage with the toggle here. And finally, export your file. you'll find the compressed file in your chosen output destination. And now the storage space has been freed up on your iPhone or iPad and they're running faster than ever, you don't have to worry about not having enough space on your iPhone or iPad to capture wonderful moments. And it's totally free now, so don't hesitate, go ahead, open up App Store and download any small. Like right now, like do it, like take your phone, type any small and click download. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these tips on speeding up your iPhone or iPad. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And again, download Anisimal, your powerful video compressor without quality loss.